you know, I've always been interested in, uh, and willing to, to try to give something back to the game. And I feel very strongly that uh, the caddy and is such an important part of the game of golf. Uh, it's a traditional part of the game of golf, but to me, it makes the game so much more enjoyable when you can walk and get some healthy exercise and share the camaraderie of your playing, you know, mm -hmm. partners or opponents or whatever, uh, but you're, you're foursome. Uh, the game to me is is just far more enjoyable when you can walk, and uh, I think it also is a great introduction for young people uh, to the game of golf. So uh, I know when I was in the uh, chair as uh, chairman, uh, we developed a, a program uh, to encourage uh, clubs to develop caddy programs and encourage kids to, you know, to come out and, and, uh, and caddy. And uh, we did have some success in getting clubs that really uh, didn't have an active caddy program to, to establish a uh, caddy program. It's a, it's a challenging battle because of the revenue that the carts generate uh, uh, and uh, you know, the cost, uh, generally carts are much more economical than the caddy. But uh, the enjoyment of the game, uh, to me, is just far greater uh, when uh, you're able to, and, uh, you know, I'm proud to say here at Pine Valley, it's a walking course. Uh, you know, we do allow carts, but uh, we do not make it easy for players to use carts and we much prefer that uh, golf be played and, and if they take a cart it's not for economical reason because they have to take caddies. Uh, As chair of the trust uh, I mean how many great kids did you get a chance to meet who were caddies? Well you know Marty that uh, that's always a fulfilling experience and uh, you look at uh, at uh, these kids and as Jay Wood Platt said you know and, and I agree wholeheartedly with him. What it was all about was giving him a chance. And, uh, you know, I've tried to, to be a little active in uh, some of the um, junior programs and uh, involving, uh, you know, uh, kids and getting them introduced to the game. And uh, this is not easy because most of the kids that you expose the game to, they are... For, for various reasons are not going to stick with golf. But if you have, you say, if you even introduce 100 and only one or two, that's still very important. It, you know, it can be, you know, a life-changing event for those one or two fellows. And, and uh, you know, you look at some of the, the people that caddy and, you know, you reflect back uh, uh, or they reflect back on, uh, you know, what it meant to them to... Uh, to caddy, uh, and uh, we have uh, some grandsons that have uh, caddied, uh, and uh, I look at them, and I just think it's a character building. It's you know, it's a it's a means for a young person to earn some money, help pay for their education if they are a caddy scholar, but also it's a process of learning about the game of golf, the integrity of the game of golf getting involved and associating with people that are people of strong character that can influence the, the young person in the right way. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that uh, I, I continue to feel that uh, it's exceedingly important for all of us in the game of golf to work to preserve the Caddy Scholarship Trust Fund uh, could never envision uh, what has transpired. Uh, you know, golf's been such a you know a important part of my life and my family's life. Um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, not only I took up the game at 19, and nobody in my family played, uh, but I married Gail and. Uh, 
no one in her family play. And, uh, you know, we, uh, I joined Old York Road and, uh, and stated I didn't, uh, you know, her dad told her when he dropped her off at college uh, that it was just as easy to fall in love with a rich one as it was a poor one. And she came back uh, north with a guy in bib overalls that didn't have a nickel in his pocket. Uh, but uh, we bought her a set of irons from the pro at uh, Old York Road. He was an old German gent, wonderful old gent. Uh, and uh, it was a set of Patty Berg irons, very good irons, excellent condition. $15 is what he charged us for a set of irons. Uh, and she played with those irons for years. Well, not only did Gail take up the game, but her mother and father took up the game. Mm -hmm. And in their latter years, you know, they played golf six, seven days a week. You know, they belong, they joined a, a Fort Lauderdale Country Club where they, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. spent their winters and they joined Wildwood where they uh, spent their uh, summers at Stone Harbor. And, uh, but they played, uh, so the, to, to think back, uh, you know, as you suggest, when I was age 19, when I first introduced to the game, and what has transpired uh, since. Yeah. <laughs>